have what looks like the remains of a large piston that turned this crank here and then turned these two wheels. The boiler probably sat right here. So this must have been the engine that turned the belt. The belt probably came over here to this pulley. Gigantic pulley, look at that. This pulley here, which sat on at least a four inch shaft, turned a couple of drums, winch drums with maybe five eighths inch cable or so. And uh, also somehow turned this big gigantic wheel that's covered with rotted burlap. Almost looks like fire hose. This wheel is huge. The shaft, which is bigger than my hand, sits head high. This wheel must have had another belt that came over and turned this giant drum with looks like at least one inch, maybe inch and a quarter cable. I don't know if this wheel, this wood wheel was just the brake and there was another pulley on this or what. And then we have some kind of a shaft right here. Looks like about four inch diameter, maybe uh, almost half inch thick wall and then inside of it is several other tubes, smaller tubes, all with water in the bottom. So I don't know if this was some kind of a humongous something they pulled liquid out of or what. But anyway, now the interesting thing is these timbers are gigantic. This big wooden wheel, when it turned, looks like it turned a crank here and they could adjust the throw of the crank by moving this pin to the different holes. Now what, what looks like it went on the crank is this hunk of wood here. It looks like it has a big lead bearing. That's lead. You can see I scratched it. So that means that this thing went up and down and it looks like it had Gigantic piece of heavy-duty steel bolted to the other end. Oh, that's a big eyelid. Interesting. What in the heck was this thing? I bet you it was some kind of oil well. And it bumped up and down over the top of this hole. But it was steam-powered. And I found a bunch of valves laying around. Here's an old manifold of some kind. Here's a valve, a big valve, labeled Chapman 1952. Here's another smaller Chapman valve. Here's a Kennedy valve. Here's a crane valve. And here's a PNC company. still in operation in 52. There ought to be some pictures around of it, I would think. Anyway, that's the whole setup. Probably boiler here, steam piston there, turned the crank there, which went to a belt that turned the drums and the big wheel, and also another belt that went to that drum, and some kind of a crank that went up and down or side to side from there using this big bar that has a big iron loop on it. Here's the bottom half of the loop. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a big gigantic iron loop and it's solid. So this was some kind of a connecting rod. And then, oh, this 
this must have pivoted up and down on that bearing. Whatever this giant thing is, it's on its side. This thing's laying on its side. But that had to pivot back and forth at one time because that's a bearing right there. show. Welcome input from anybody. Alright, got my glider light out. I'm all ready. I'm going to run right off the end of this hill, straight into the wind. 